Okay, we're live. Hi. <laughs> um, I'll just wait for you all to hop on. Um, don't have my eyeballs on at the moment, but um, I might put them on sometime at some point. Not really necessary right now. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'll wait for people to hop on before we go. Before I start doing anything else, I'm just sorting out some fabric. Um, and when you're on and you're up and about, let me know and say good day. Good day, Julianne and Sandy and Bev. Good day, hello, hello. Um, so I'm just I'm picking out colours. If you're wondering what I'm doing, <laughs> um, so. I have done one full side. Hey Ricky. Um, hello darling. Uh, I can't see your comments, um, like I can't actually answer you on my business page, so I will text you. So you've sent me that number. Um, I haven't done it yet, obviously, but yeah, I don't know why. don't know what Facebook is playing, all sorts of weird stuff. So we're going to do the other side today. So I would thought, um, hi Maya and Sue, um, while you guys are all popping on, um, I will just pick out some colours, um, but up but up there it is, and just make sure, I'll get Mad Mike to, cause so you can hear me better, hang on, where's he gone, where are you fluff ball, here he is, it's Mad Mike, got to make sure Mad Mike's on. All right, okay. sorry, my fat head anyway. There we go, okay. Oh, my, my, my. <sighs> okay, so you'll hear some, you know, ruffling around in the background. Hi, Maxine. Um, and that is Rod doing his thing. Hi, Jimmy. Um, and uh, he's just putting together a jack machine. You know, Terry, how you going, love? Um, so I think I will put my glasses on because I won't be able to see today, although I'm having one of those little moment things where I could fog up the glasses anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm fogging up already. I can see it's fogging. Um, I can see there's a lot on. So far I've got about 40 odd people, which is nice for a Sunday. What are you up to today? What have you been doing? Got your receipt. Can you text me when you post it, please? Got, I got your receipt. Rod the Builder, he can fix it. Rod the Builder, yes, he can. <laughs> Stella. <laughs> Rod the Builder. <laughs> so, yeah. oh, I haven't finished yet. Yeah, he hasn't finished yet. So, um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm using one of the new... Thread, thread shredders, the, the new ones that I'm going to be um, using and selling, um, cutting out a middleman. Back is stuffed laying down, that's not good. Just had a lazy day, cooked lunch and resting. I haven't done a thing other than fluff around up here, just saying. Um, so I'm, I'm going to, because I've got too many with white, so I've got, um, good day Judy, um, Stella, hi Jimmy, yep. Um, got my parcel good. Cleaning my sewing room, bad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> That's such a crap job. It is such a crap job. But it is, it's, it's a relief when you've done it because then you go, oh, look what I've got. Like, oh, I've got all this stuff that I had no idea. That I snuck in and hubby wasn't washing. <laughs> so, um,. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm just sort of getting some of these out because I need to do this. I've got my two 16 inch blocks. I think they're 16 and a half. Let me double check that. Oh, I can do that here on my table. 16 and a half inch. Okay, FYI, 16 and a half inch squares. Went to visit some friends. She gave me a started quilt, and when I laid it out, there was. $300 in there too, so I took it back to her. Oh my god, she would have been wrapped. <laughs> oh, you took it to camp. Oh, good, good, good. You're welcome, Bryony. So I need those two for top, end, and bottom. Damn, idea keeps getting interrupted. 
Oh, okay, I'll just double check my internet. Nope, it's all good on my thing. So, could be your end. I hope everyone can see all this okay. Everyone's internet is uh, all good today. It's not as bad as it was the other day. That was painful. Um, so, what have I been doing? Well, I finished all the orders. Yay! Except for... Oh dear, dear. Oh yeah, yeah. I knew video. I knew what you meant. <laughs> you love typos. I've got to watch what I do with typos. All good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, um, so those who has anyone not seen how this thread shredder, which is what it's going to be called, how it works, which is the same sort of theory as the thread ripper, exact same sort of thing, um, but my brand, my um, not so much idea, but my supplier. Um, little one of these un unpicks very, very quickly. Hello, uh, Kathy. I'm going to turn my camera down so you can see what I'm doing rather than um, my head <laughs> doing nothing. So bear with me while I turn it down. And I'll just, oops, a day, zip that up a bit. Ah, just remembered me. Yes, yeah, so 16 and a half inch squares, just to um, reiterate there for you, uh, Gidget, because I know you asked about this uh, yesterday, I think it was, those corner squares, the white ones are 16 and a half inch squares. Okay, 16 and a half, half. Okay, so put your eyeballs on, because you won't be able to see the threads. I like using, um, that one's a good one now, that one's a good one, so I will come back and iron that in a minute. So when you start, okay, hi Debbie, just open up the, the seam, give it a little snip, you always want to just start the seam off, hold that down, now you can put in, before I go, you can put in, Pin, if you want to hold it down like that and then come into it it's best to have these flat to the floor rather than on an angle but it can be used that way you just got to be wary that you don't trim the uh, fabric the best way to do that is to keep it flat and there you go she's undone just like that okay so I'll do them again because I've got to do a few of these. So I'm going to do that one. So I'll snip that. I hope you didn't see me this time. I yes, I cut bloody 16 first, then Stella told me. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, when I seen the 16, I'm like, yeah, no, I pretty much reckon it's 16 and a half, but I wanted to double check. So literally just shaves away pretty much those uh, pesky seams and if you get a hard one it's probably because there's uh, an angle that you're not on the right angle um, so I'm just going to undo I've got to do six on here 12 so I'm just going to do some random ones I don't really look at the colors too much I'm not being that anally retentive how come we are unpicking? Well, because I did too many with the white of these, so I need some of these for my other side, which is fine. So that's just what happens. So sometimes we get a bit carried away, we do. My bad. So I thought I would show you that yes, us uh, tutors do it too. So I've got a plan too for another little project, which I think will take maybe one or maybe two, maybe maximum, maybe two sessions. And I think you're gonna like it. We can use jelly rolls. Um, and I think, yeah, I think you'll like it. It's quite cool.
and just if you do unpick these just be very wary of stretching and pulling on them you don't want to we do at times not that I admit to it okay that I haven't used it yet I've got one to have in the okay I've seen some of the quilt tops of guys oh they're amazing aren't they um, yes yeah, so I've got another little project for you that you can use these uh, wonderful jelly rolls you've all been purchasing and I think they will look amazeball so and I think you're gonna like it it's a nice quick one um, it'll only take me longer because I'm demoing but you could probably whip it up in an afternoon might be able to do it in one sesh. Come on. So I'm just going to count one, two, four, five, six, seven. I'm just going to look for another couple of colours. Eight. Oops, that was. Yeah, so I went a bit crazy with the white, I think. can't tell you what a savior this little tool is um, when you've got the long arm and you've stitched a whole heap and you go oh I don't want that pattern on it now I need to change it and you've got 12 stitches an inch I tried beard, beard trimmer but no good no <laughs> you've got to it's got to be the right type um, you can't just have any old one I do have these on the website now um, they are a little bit cheaper you don't get um, uh, it's like less fluff so I uh, get them a little bit cheaper too which I can pass on to you um, and they also you'll have to supply your own battery because um, I don't want to put a battery in them just in case they go you know corrode or something like that like we've seen with some of the lights uh, they've got a battery already in them um, oh, I've already got a couple of those so I thought well I'll just you know do um, Sorry, I lost my thread of thought then. Um, I'll just do the um, without the battery. Um, but I, I just put a, a normal battery in anyway. And I think unless they're individually wrapped, I don't think I can legally put the batteries in. I think you have to have them wrapped. And that'll just add cost to them, so I don't want to do that. Um, so that is it. Uh, it's called Thread Shredder. I tried to tear it off because I actually put it on crooked so I'm going to try and get it off um, with some eucalypt but um, yeah so the little clip is there silver and black it's the only co color it comes in and it sits nicely in your hand as well all right so I'm still going and what other colors do I have there okay I haven't got any of the dark ones so again Oh, you're a mad woman. Yeah, that way. So. Alright. So you can see it's nice and quick. And I don't feel like I'm, you know, I want to slice myself into little bitty bitty pieces because I've, um, I've actually, uh, you know, stitched the wrong thing too many times. Sorry, was on the phone. Are you sending these out? Uh, yes. So those who are on back order are getting these and be charged the the, the new price um, with these ones. So yes, Teresa, you've got one in your kit for next time. So they are being filled with the the thread shredder. Um, And uh, yeah, now I've lost count, so I'm going to count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nice. Um, yes, yes, I've got the this one for you, um, Teresa. Yeah, yep. Uh, this will be there. Are a couple of friends on. Uh, did you have a picture of what you were making? Oh yes, yes, I do. Yes, there's a couple, Ricky, on um, Friends of Michelle's Patchwork, so you can add yourself on there or put yourself in there and get added. All right, so let me, oops, brake on my machine, put the brakes on. All right, so we're currently putting um, now the, these uh, uh, jacks have gone up in price too, just so you know. 
Um, they're, I think, 3,025 or 75. May I order one? Maxine, yes. Let me get a pen and paper. I wasn't that prepared. <laughs> Go figure. Two or thirty-three, I think it is. So thirty-two or thirty-three, something like that. So Maxine, Gee, yep, no worries. All right, just pop that over there, out of my way. Okay, I'll get my little. Oh, that's the quilt. I'm just going to make some room. Um, I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So there, I'm just going to bring my iron over. Yes, please, I have a, uh, yes, I please have a great job. Yes, please, yes, I please have a great job, Thread Shredder. <laughs> You'd like one too, Ricky. <laughs> I have to um, decipher the uh, autocorrect, so Ricky, yep. All right. Okay, so um, now while I'm doing demos, I can't do the like thing, so, um, Yes, thank you, Stella. It took me a couple of seconds to figure out what I was reading, but yes. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so uh, I can't actually do the like thing, so I appreciate uh, reminding me just in case I don't. Now, when you're pressing this back out, that seam, because you don't want that folded, just don't do any stretching. I'm just getting that thread off. Just, you know, press but don't stretch. No pulling and shoving. All right, it just has to be down far enough so that we can get the two pieces together. And uh, yeah, that's about it really, without making a mess. Yes, thank you Stella, I got uh, Teresa's. She was on back order, so I did have her already and she's already got one with a name on it, all over it. So the packaging hasn't come in yet for the thread shredder, so we could be plain packaging. Um, no, it works just as well. Um, always iron to the dark side would be harder to use. No, 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 just the same, exactly the same. Thank you, um, Maya. Uh, <clears throat> uh, definitely just the same. So the only reason why this is open seam is because I want to find those points when I'm doing this project. Is that someone here for me? Is it in a sort of greyish, sort of dark grey four wheel drive? No? Okay. <laughs> Crickets. Crickets? It's just a dog barking for no reason. It's not all about you, Cheryl. It could be. Just saying. <laughs> you are quick, Michelle. Thank you, Stella. <laughs> yeah. All right. Did you hear that? cheeky buggers. Alright, so they're all ironed nicely. So now I'm going to start joining these together because I need six of these, I'm pretty sure, off the top of my head. So I'm just going to go that one and that one. It's two. thing I've got to do is cut a couple of white ones that I hadn't cut. Okay, and then I'm just going to take this over to the machine, get some stuff out of the way. I know my computer just froze then. Is everyone else able to see what's happening? I'm just going to refresh that. Yes, there is Stella going to be another border. Absolutely. So I'm just going to adjust that over there, zoom in a fraction, that out of the way, okay, uh, it's been doing that a bit of like, yeah, I know, it's been really bad lately, hasn't it, it's just, I, I really just think it's Telstra and their crappy servers, 
between them and Australia Post, we've got Buckley's, I can tell you. All right, so I'm just going to sew these together and then give them a press again. And then I will have to, um, uh, what do they call it? Um, square them up. Oops, the days. Last remember to put the feed dogs on because I was on pre motion before. There we go. Oh, another border. Ooh, <laughs> says <laughs> you're funny, did you? Um, yes, yeah, so the border you won't know what it is until um, I finish this bit. Um, that's my personal add to this uh, pattern. Um, but I think you'll like so, and we'll be using up all our little bits and pieces that we've got left over just saying Thanks a days. a little bit more and don't stress too much if you know if you have to do this part of it and you know they're a little bit skewy for whatever we're still going to trim it up and make them square so it's not that big of a deal as long as you've got um, you know, your colours sort of set right, you'll be fine. Just don't stretch them. You can see I'm being very careful not to stretch. No stretching. <laughs> oh, it looks lovely, Stella. Not bad for someone. Did you do that all by hand or did you do it by machine, Stella? Do you normally do everything by hand, don't you? Now, there is one other thing I'm going to show you today before we, you know, we head off after doing all this sewing and everything. Um, is I got some fabric in. I did that on the machine. It was fun. <laughs> How good. Um, I got some fabric in from my wholesaler that uh, does the Kona fabric. Um, kind of a lot, you know. So I can't call it Kona fabric, obviously, because it's not. It's a homespun. I suppose it's a high spun. Um, anyway, it's a solid fabric, and I just got two colours in. I just wanted to see what they like in the other colours. I was working on my friend hanging garden, and and the two and a half inch square colour looks like. Oh, finally, I was working on my friend hanging garden, and the two and a half square colour looks awful. Jimmy, what, what two and a half square colour looks awful? She wants me to unpick it all and do another colour. What? Oh dear. You can't, is it all finished, Jimmy? Have you finished the whole thing or is it just you're halfway through? Something's going on with me, Bob. Oh, yeah, that's why it's not working properly. I'm just going to run this through again because the bobbin wasn't in, wasn't threaded through on the top properly. I just pulled it out, silly woman. Um, yeah, have you actually finished the project? No, you wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. Dust. Um, I'd be very cranky. Oh no, well you can't comment on a project until it's finished anyway. Is she paying for everything? I hope she's paying for everything. Because if she's not, tell her to bugger off and give it to someone else. I'm not even a bloody friend. Kill her. You shouldn't have shown up. <laughs> Blame yourself. Alright, let me find that old for the sale of the girl. There we go. Got it. Alright, we're through. Right then, try again. This time with the the machine threaded properly. That might help. Hmm. Oh, I'm just saying. She is paying and getting the material herself. Well, she chose it, so yeah. That's her fault. <laughs> That's definitely not your fault. Come on, machine. Come on. 
Today. I'm just going straight over the same stitch. Just um, yeah, it just I noticed it when I um, pick I turned it over and went, well that doesn't look right. Um, that's because it wasn't threaded up here properly. I've missed a spot. Just reboot it. Me, they're all still joined together it makes it for a quick so um i was mostly uh, it was mostly burgundy and gold i made her a burgundy one afterwards and hated doing every stitch but yeah i would yeah so if i had someone do that i'd be like mm, no nah. <coughs> i'd be cranky as a bull ant I'd never do another thing for him. That'd be, that'd be the end of it. Alright. Okie doke. Try again. Alright. All right, let's see if I can completely stuff it up this time. Upside down, stupid. Cut upside down. <laughs> it's not pink enough. Oh dear. Okay, so I'm just going to move that out of the way. I'm not even going to go there, Rodney. <laughs> Keep your mind clean. Alrighty. <laughs> we'll post a photo of it later on, friends. Cool. Stop it, you two. The boys are in the background and they're being really naughty. Like, really naughty. <laughs> Alright. You can't be naughty. Okay, so when you open it up, you'll get a really nice uh, flat seam. Um, and no stretching. You're just giggling and <laughs> laughing her head off. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> They giggled like schoolgirls then, a pair of them. Got Rod now and, and Pete here. The pair of them are like, ee, ee, ee. I found the seam opening a bit tricky. Don't say it. Don't say it. I'm looking at them going, don't say it. Um, yes, it is a bit fiddly, um, but it does work. Uh, when you want to find that point, it works really, really well. Um, so it's sort of, Better the devil you know than the devil you don't. Why not? We can't hear them. Well, I can't hear them. <laughs> oh my god, you're just laughing again. <laughs> Quit it. <laughs> so, with the opening of the seam, you've just got to sort of slowly manipulate it. It doesn't have to be completely flat open, just enough that you can get the, the nose of the iron in there and push it down like that being a non sewer I have never done anything with open seams oh okay yeah because you do everything with um, the hand sewing yeah non sewer hang in there I'll get out the gutter <laughs> I'll get out of the gutter yeah all right <laughs> do you need a ladder <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll open up this seam. So it's not the first, second or third time we sew these together. It's like the last lot of seams that we sew together that this makes a big difference. So they're being very good. They're whispering. That one's a little bit wobbly, but it does all right. Okay, we go, Colleen. And just let you know that I have to do this twice. So I'm only going to do this once today with a bit of luck. I might actually get some time to do the second lot and put that second border on before next week. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? 
um, because it's same same but yeah so the gray is really gorgeous and the lavender is beautiful as well I can't imagine what they're whispering about the jack because they they're trying to they're putting it together so they're sort of looking at mine they're looking across they're coming back they're whispering to each other then they're going back again like a pair of school girls going what's, what is, what's he what's he doing what's he got yeah i was going to say you might lift about 30 40 kilos honey you won't be able to lift that on your own <laughs> well you probably could but no you're not getting a slab out of it you're coming late you get nothing you get crickets now pete <laughs> All right, so they're all done. So I would have to do this twice to do one of one side of that big border, okay? That big outside border. So I'm going to now um, even these up. So to do that, I need this baby, and I need oh, this one. Move my iron out of the way before I melt something, but I shouldn't. Okay. You need also your blade. Where'd I bury that? Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, on this, it's got a black line that goes across from one side to the other. Okay. That line needs to go on that seam line. So that has to go there. And this is four and a half inch square. So I know that as long as I've got that on there and I press down and hold the baby down and run that blade over it, and I should be standing just saying, in this corner. Turn her around the other side. Do the same thing. I am gonna. Did you sell those I do you sell yes, Sue, I do, darling, yes. Um I do sell those ironing mats so for $35 and I have them in stock. So it's a hundred percent New Zealand wool. Did you hear that? There you go, that's one. Something fell. Did you hear that in there? Banging next door? It sounds like it. With a bit of luck, it's a plaster. Okay. Yeah, so if you'd like one of those, Sue, I can't remember whether I've got your details or not. I'm trying to remember. I also have these available. Um, so if anyone's wanting one of the four and a half inch rulers, square rulers, um, I do have them. It gets me a nice perfect square every time. How cool, I can't remember the person who it was. Someone actually did that fabric making making it with the wash away. Wasn't that awesome? The pink one. I can't remember who it was now. Top of my head. What was one of our regular girls? What a blessing that bloody ruler was. Oh, isn't it amazing? Nothing? Serena's fine with the ball. Oh, okay. Serena's got the ball. Who's got the ball? Serena's got the ball. Serena's always got the ball. So... You didn't see me online yesterday. I was thinking about doing a demo, but I really had to finish. Um, oh, it's beautiful the wash away. Um, uh, I was uh, I did two quilts uh, for customers instead because I had to do those, so I did that. Um, what else did I do? And then I pretty much crashed and burned. Oh, I did some orders and that got them all organised. Um, so really, all we got to do is tomorrow morning. Do the postage thing and then pop them in the car and they'll be going tomorrow morning so get the girls out of bed before 10 how much is the ruler lynn appleton good question i think it was 22 i'll tell you hang on one second yeah so you can see how skew if that, that one is there, oh, it's over here. See how skew if it is? So if I put on this, and it saves me having to think about finding a straight edge, you know what I mean? Like, 
Well, how do I find that? You know, with all that that skewy stuff. So um, it just takes away the guesswork because now all I use is a straight line that's on the ruler because I don't really use mats as a ruler. Um, that's mine. Hey, that's mine. That one. Find it on this one. It's not, no, it won't be on there. Oh, okay. I'm yeah, sorry. that's what I'm saying. That's mine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so it just takes away the guesswork. It makes it a little bit easier. Opening those seams makes it easier in the long run. Thank you. Can I order one? Sure, darling. Uh, Lynn, I'll just pop your name straight on it. It's covered in plastic. Um, I'll pop that over there. Yeah, it was easy using that ruler, wasn't it? Well, it is. I know with me doing this, it's much, much easier than trying to guesswork it. Even with the, the, the stripology ruler, this is um, still much easier than any other ruler. Um, and I like the fact that it's got the non-slip doodars on it. Although we can put our own non-slip things on. Um... It just stops it from jiggling around when you're trying to put pressure on it to hold it still. What's that one? Oh, I still haven't changed that blade, you know. That's still the same blade. <laughs> I think I've sharpened it 3,000 bloody times so far. All right, so now I need four of these babies. I'm pretty sure I've got the right count. And then I'm going to need... I think so. I'll have to have a look at it now. Come on, come off. I got carried away using my stripology ruler. It's good fun, isn't it? Because it makes it so easy. You're like, woohoo, I can do this and this and I can cut these and it doesn't hurt and <laughs> I've got it right, it's even. It's so quick. <laughs> You're like, bugger, I've been here for half an hour and I've cut six metres of fabric. <laughs> So quick. Alright, so yeah, so I quilted two quilts yesterday. I did them both at the same time. I was pretty happy with myself. I put them on the machine, same pattern, very similar in size, two different backgrounds or backings. Um, I just sewed um, a bit of fabric between them and uh, I cleverly did, did that all in one go. You see a bit of a glitch on this one. Mm -hmm. Just turn that out. Hi Denise. I've cut enough to make two quilts. Yeah, that's what I mean. You can cut like six thousand bloody strips of fabric, and you're like, how cool is this? I can do this. Is there any more I can cut? Because this is fun. Uh, makes it so easy. So easy. Did um, anyone drop into Fleur's sale today? I didn't um, get a chance to have a look. I do sometimes, but not all the time. Is she well? How's her leg healing? Um, I can't get the sharpener to work. There were no instructions. I just used it as I would use a cutter on fabric, but it was not good. I had to change the blade. What am I doing wrong? Jenny, is it the manual one or is it the uh, electric one? Yes, she's well. She's doing a lot better. Good. Okay. Uh, she's hobbling around on a crutch doing well. Okay, cool. Um, so Jenny, is it the manual or the electric one? pretty sure that'd be a manual one so it'll also depend on your cutter yes she's doing that okay manual okay I'll show you how it works because I've got one right here so it also depends on your cutter too because I notice it um, Someone else I knew had a cutter, ah, oh, that's right, and she had one arrived the other day. 
and she had one that the mine just pops open like that yeah. right and then I can run the blade in hers was a push down one and then you know like mine's I've got to actually pull out the thing so is yours a push down one where the blade actually appears or is it like this where you got to flick it and the blade appears because that makes a difference Are you heading off? No? Are oh, you doing stuff? No, um, Hi, Velda. Val, Val, I'm new to your video. Watch Fleur earlier and how I discovered your work. <laughs> oh, lovely. Thank you, Velda. The same as yours, even the brand. Okay, cool. Jenny, all right. So, take, like, open the blade up like that so you got the blade out. Okay, it's all right, Rob. Um, I'll take it off that because the mat will move. Place it in, literally, place it in and just roll it along. If you're wondering whether the blade is rolling, get a texter, right, like that, put a mark, turn it sideways and you can see, there's the mark there. It's got to roll around, you can see how it's rolling around? So that I know, if you've got this here too tight, it won't roll, okay, so you need to loosen that a little and you just go push through, push through, just keep going. As many times as you want. You can see it's been it's sharpening. You can see it's sharpening right up there. You can see it's taking off the, the metal. It's definitely sharpening. So that's as easy as it gets. So let me know how you go with that and my destructions. <laughs> um, welcome, Valda. Glad to have you on board. Um, we're just doing... I'm just going to cut a couple of four inch squares out of this. I'm just going to give this a bit of iron. Oh. God's just packing up stuff. That's the noise in the background. It's all good. Thank you, love. You're cleaning up. Oh, you're a good girl. <laughs> oh, Margaret, these, these, these blades, sharpeners, and everyone, could you please add the four and a half inch ruler to my inks order sure joan um thank you yep i need that sharpener margaret i have them in stock they're 71.50 so they're not majorly cheap cheap but by g you get some use out of them so if you would like one i can pop it in your thing now i've just turned that over four so we're going to see how now that blade i haven't changed forever i so you can see how small it's getting like it's actually getting really small that's no longer the size of a 44. Normally, that is right out to that edge there. Like, I'm really using, getting my use out of that plate. Um, so, I'll just write down, can I get two? Yeah, sure, Del. I'll just write it down. Um, sharpener. First. And it was... Um, Jimmy's also wanting a ruler. Oh, I missed that one. Um, destructions. Yeah, it's, that's my destructions. Getting destructions. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying it now. Let me know how you go. All right. So Joan and Jimmy both want that ruler. Yep. No worries. So four and a half. Jimmy and Joan Coker. Yep. No worries. All right. So. Let's see how she goes. I'm just going to waste a bit of fabric because it doesn't matter. It's only fabric. All right, let me just make sure I've got the comments up to date. Okay, so here we go. There you go. I didn't quite start off very well, did I? There we go. That's just cut through there. Now you've, you've just seen me using it and it was not cutting through on the corner. So that shows you. So I've got a nice sharp edge here. There you go. And I'm not pushing down too hard. I'm just going to make sure I go off the edge this time. And I'm turning this rather than turning my wrist. There you go. So that's four cut at once after just sharp, sharp, sharpening, sharpening, <laughs> sharpening that, that blade. 
I love that. It's, it is worth. Hi, Michelle. Can I get the four and a half inch ruler? And can you add it to my parcel from the other day? If you haven't sent it already. Ah, no, they're already gone. Um, dynamic. Oh, hang on. Maybe yours. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I do have it here. I can pop it in there. Yes, I can, Diana. I'll pop that in there. Diana. Um, and we want the four and a half inch ruler. Yep. Yep. Cool, I'll pop that in there, no dramas. So that's it, that's how it's done. So that's four, and I think I'm right in saying there's six. I'll double check myself. This uh, you know, may not always be right, but I'm never wrong type thing. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, nice. Can I get a four and a half inch ruler too? Sure can, Janine, yep. And Janine. Yep, done. All right, so that's that. Now I've got two more to cut. So I'll grab another bit of scrap fabric. There's bits everywhere here. What's this size? Eh, no, not going to happen. Would it work with metallic cutter? I don't know what a metallic cutter is. I'd have to Google that. It would work. Is it just a normal blade or is it... just got a normal metal blade I don't see why it wouldn't uh, I'm just going to fold that up to about there oh it doesn't really matter I'll fold it into there oh, yeah. no we'll do threes all right let's fold that up there right let's do this so this is just fabric I've had, you know, sitting there. If I need it, I'll use it. Because I'm going to use the other ones. So I'm going through... What's that, three layers? One, two, three. Yep. There we go. See if I made it without making a boo-boo. Yep. I did. So that's dust. That's okay. That's uh, my six. Easy done. Nice. And thank you, Mr. Blade Sharpener. Made my life a little bit easier. I'll just pop all this out of the way. So what we want to do now is oh, take a seat. <laughs> okay, so now we've got to set it out. So um, this is the part, um, side ergonomic handle only has a hole in the centre, not cut out like the Ulfa. It's side ergonomic handle only has a hole in the centre. Let me Google it. Let me Google it. Let me have a look at it. Where is it there? Martini cutter. Yep. M-A-R-T. Oh, now I've forgotten what it's called. <laughs> Uh, Martelli, sorry. My R E double L I. Oh. Cutter. Okay. Let me have a quick squiz at it. Images. So is that a press down one? So you press down on it and the blade appears? Or you've got to actually turn that out? As long as you've got the blade exposed, yeah, it should just run through. So, yeah, so does that blade thing, the cover, does that actually, I haven't seen it used. Hang on, let me see if I can go, oh, let go. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, uh, oh, here we go. U-tube. Let's see. Flips back. I just want to see what it does and how it works but without the volume which is going to yap on about nothing now hang on a bit like me okay that and that and that oh gosh woman come on show me some cutting <laughs> gee they talk a lot don't know anyone else who does that do you <laughs> all right oh yeah 
Okay, yeah, so the blade's exposed like that, yeah. As long as the blade's exposed and it rot rotates, which they do, yep, so they've got to rotate around. I can't see why it wouldn't. They've got a whole 20 minutes on talking about blades and stuff. Okay, so, and cleaning them. Go on, show me how to use it, not just clean it. Good Lord, woman. In depth, we're looking at an ergonomic rotary cutter. I have a Mar Martello Eagle work in it too. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, no, 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 that's all right. <laughs> I'm just making sure. Yeah, so as long as that blade's exposed, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I can't see why not, Lobby. All right, let's get this thing organized. So. Yeah, I'd say so, Stella. I did it with Mum's one, and that was one of those. Uh, I think the guard flips out the way when it rolls. Yeah, yeah. So as long as the guard flips out of the way, or it can be moved out of the way, and when you run it through, it'll just roll like normal. But like I say, if you think it's not rolling, put that bit of bit of black on there, just so you can see where, whether that's actually rolling. Hi, Selena. Oh, not really much. Me, just me cutting stuff. So. All right, a bit of sewing and a bit of cutting. So I'll just move that. Have you put an adapter in my next parcel for the... Uh, no, didn't remind me. Deb, uh, De Denise, I will do it though, Denise. Hang on, Denise, um, plug. Yep, I'll chuck it in the post. Um, what have I missed? That's all good. All right, so you got your you six there. So one, two, three, two, and one. So a little bit of a triangle. And then you've got the ones that are half and half. Okay. Hey, stay there. So I'll just pop that one there. That one there. That one there. And we've got this one here. I'm going to run out of room. All right. Okay, so can you see all those? Yes, you can, sort of. I'll just move it back, Frack. See you, Judy. All right, so you can see them all. There we go. Now, just get your ones with the color. Make sure all the, the seams are running in the same direction. And you don't stuff it up like I do. Like that. You can even Nah, put that back up there. That one can go there. Or it can go all the way around that way. There, see how those two are together? I'd be moving that like that. But other than that, the happy chappy. Okay? I mean, you could even chuck that mm, 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 there like that. But then that's two together. And if I chop it, mm, mm, and it, but, you know, it doesn't matter. It's all good. Do you know what I mean? Oh, see you, Stella. Stella even. <laughs> Bye, still. Uh, oh, no, Stella's not going. Judy's going. Sorry. So to me, that's okay. As long as I haven't got two of the exact same, like, butting up together. If they're like that, I don't really, I'm not really fluffed over it. It doesn't really bother me too much. So it's not that big of a deal, if you know what I mean. Do you know these, these iron mats make really, really good um, mouse things for you? Like, mouse mat? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, no, I got it wrong, Stella. Alright, so that's good. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, get your pins or, or clips, whatever suits, whatever you like. Um, I'm just going to pop that there, that over there, and that there. Um, Jenny, how did you go with that sharpener? Did it work? Flip that one over and that one over. So I'm flipping from the right side to the left, okay? So right to left, right to left, right to left, do to do. From left, right to left, okay. So that means that my pin will go on the right side. So I'm just chucking a pin in. It's not. I'm not evening up. Even and no 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 up yet. Um, I'm just putting a pin in just so I know which side I'm sewing on. I don't have to worry about any points yet. 
<clears throat> I'm just going to put these on top of each other. Just move that away. Oh, nearly lost them. I do like the clips though. And at this point, I like the clips, but I don't have them handy. They're over, way over whoopee. All right. So that's that. So I'm going to turn those like that. Pop my pins over there. Get my camera over here. Roll around. And pick up this first one. Take the pin out. Quarter inch seam. Yada, yada, yada. Chuck her in. Come on. That's it, dear. Um, then get the next one. I'm just taking from underneath. Gives me an idea what I'm doing. Then line up your edges. And chain, this is chain stitching, if you didn't know. So we're just chain stitching them together so that we can, uh, g'day Lower. What do we miss? Not a lot. We've um, pretty much just been talking a little bit and I have fixed up some things that I had to change and because I sewn too many of one and yada, you know, that sort of stuff, as we do. I do these things, you know. I was going to say, I did think that was sewing properly then. It just didn't look like it was sewing properly. It's come out. Mongrel. <laughs> Mongrel. Um, Jenny, yes, thank you. You must have missed my long-winded reply. The blade was not spinning properly, but sharpened another, which was really blunt and it's fine thank you you're welcome you're welcome welcome so if you need to loosen the like get the blade to spin more there's a the nut at the back it should actually just need loosening a fraction not a it, they don't need to be really tight because they do have to rotate so i'm just gonna lift that up so i must have run out of bobbin when i wasn't looking how rude Why is that not filling up? How poor are you not filling up? Oh, did you get caught? Oh. Oh. I did get caught. Well, I've got no thread in that. I think it goes that way. I'm just going to fill up my bobbin. Just let me hold on to this. Wait. <laughs> it's alright, it can keep going. <laughs> My actual thing of thread's fallen on the floor. So I'm literally just sewing um from like I'm sewing nothing here but up here it's filling up my bobbin. I think there is something wrong with the screw on the back. It's tight and won't spin or it's too loose and falls off. Ah, okay, it might, have been, it might be buggered. Oh, finished. All right, emptied it. Hang on. Oh, I've got a cord. Okay. Okay. dokie. All right, that's enough. I don't know, the bobbin's still in there. What's going on then? Please, please tell me. <laughs> what happened? What you're doing? My fool, you'll do what you'll do. Nine times out of ten, I reckon, when I find that something's not sewing properly, I guarantee you, nine out of ten times, it's me. I've done something stupid. Um, without fail, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's an OE, what we call an OE, operator error. Alright. Okay, did so that. Yeah, it did. And then it just stopped. Alright, let's pop that behind there. What's that there? Lifting. Alrighty. Um I am 
noting her. I am what? I am annoying her. Oh, <laughs> not at all. Not annoying me. I don't know who you're annoying. Who's annoying who? I missed that conversation. All right. I'm good. There we go. Got it. So I'm just going to come back onto that one because I want to just continually sew. Be nice to mummy. We've had this discussion before. Okay. A little bit caught. Something's happened. chop off all those threads there because they're annoying me oh, I've got a little bit of looks like oh, I've had a thread put oh, look see that's what it is that's what it was it's had a bit of um, fluff or something come up from somewhere and that's why it's cracked it see I told you it'd be something silly see it's not her fault darling poor darling oh can't be upsetting her I'll just hang on Oh, I've got my lights on. <sighs> it's so bright. All right. Then, that's that there. That's one side. I'll pop that up there. I'm going to do the second side. Don't need that at the moment. Pop it away. Let's try again. Try not to kill the machine, Michelle. Very careful not to kill the machine. very hard to kill an industrial if I kill an industrial I'm going to go down the history books I reckon <laughs> oh, there's even something I'll just screw in the back there put that into that So is it a new clover, Jenny? Is it is a new one or is it an older older clover um, rotary cutter that's doing it? Okay. Now we need to press them. Let's turn it this way and let's do it again. Alright. Okay. So turn her over. And like I say, just enough to get that open. And give it a light press along there very light turn her over and press it properly just hold it down and that's one and you know rinse and repeat rinse and repeat like that Michelle, do you sell the mini irons? Selena, yeah I do though I've got them in stock, they're 65 I love my mini iron. I very, I've got a, a, a Lisso, the ones that pop up. Um, I've had it for years. 
but I very rarely use it because I use this. <laughs> I think that's a um, Harvey rate for work and interrupted. Okay, Debbie. Did you just say 65? Is that what you were using? That Yes, yeah, but it's a different brand. It's a same thing, exact same thing, different brand. It's from Fabric Care Company. Um, not a birch one, but yes, same thing. Um, many irons are so good when you're doing something like this. Yes. Yes, I, I yes, I love my Oliso. Oliso. Um, they've got the little ones um, in the States. Um, little pop-up mini pop-ups but they're not available here and no sign of when they would be um, I still think that they'd be too bloody expensive for what they are which makes me not want to buy one <laughs> um, even if they do come here and uh, yeah so when if you get a chance to show me yeah sure Selena yep wanted a mini also but cannot get it no they're not available here I did order them and they uh, messaged me or emailed me and said that oh, you're in Australia we can't send them to you they're not available there yet they haven't been approved so I went okay bugger I'm just gonna try and get some of that out Ooh, I've got my little tiny tweezers. Will will the ironing mat work okay with a red? Yeah, nothing. No, it doesn't melt. It's a hundred percent wool. You've just got to make sure that you know you don't. I always, even with this, I it, I would still have that on there. I still wouldn't leave the iron sitting on that there, which I did overnight, and all it did was leave like this patch. I left it overnight. I know. Um, but yeah. Um, if you've got that and you've got that on there you can leave your iron downwards but if you're just um, normal iron you would have to have it standing upright just like any other iron on a mat oh I love my little tweezies look how good they are they're getting out the tiny little fluffy bits because you know that will show through it will annoy me no end. There we go. Nick. Most of it out. I can even get it out. That's how tiny these tweezers are. I can even pull out. Like these are almost like splinter ones. You know when you pull out something really tiny? Hairs out of the hole. Great for paper piece in the mini iron. Yes, exactly. Does the mat come with the iron? No, Selena. Uh, Selena, it's the mat 35 on its own. This mat, the little rubber mat, these are 25. It's an optional extra, yeah. They're all different, um, different doodars. Um, great for paper piecing, yeah. Now you can't see that black fluff. What's to be seen then? There we go. Alrighty. So now I will open it. Get these. So this is the first row. And I've got this wrong, haven't I? What am I doing? Golly, I paid about 80 for my wool mat. I think it's bigger though. Uh, yeah, Selena, I'm getting them straight from the man. So I'm I'm not paying the middle man, if that makes sense. I've got this all nice about now. Um, so, yeah, you're not copying that, um, yeah, that, that middle man thing. My mat that I'm using is 18 by 12 inches. Um, and the one, I have got one coming in, but I can't promise you when it's going to be here because um, it's um, 
it's uh, what do they call it uh, still on the boat basically basically um, oh, that one there that one there that one there no, that, one, that one that one that one that one <laughs> I'm all over the show there we go that's it better that'll do that's close enough oh yeah no that's fine um, yeah so what size is the mat you're using yeah so that's this one and I find that enough to have 18 by 12 next to the sewing machine. Quite plenty, plenty. Um, the irons are these. Okay, um, musical blocks, yeah, I know. It's a mini steam iron from the Fabric Care Company. It's exactly the same. Does the same things as what mine does. You can have water or dry. I normally have dry, you can have steam if you want. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, unique ergonomic handle, steam and dry ironing, non slip sole plate. So that's them there. Um, these should be $69.95 because they're from a different company and they charge more, but I sell them at the same price as I sell the birch. So I put mine in a pillowcase and, and, and iron on that because the mat is cream, not grey like yours. Oh, yeah, I know the one. Is your mat like. Is it like the same, same sort of thickness, but is it floppy? Because this one, like, this one's really firm, so it doesn't go floppy. Um, can I have a cover for the iron? Yeah, I sure, you sure can. May I have an iron and rubber mat? Selena, you can. Let me write these down, because I will forget. <laughs> Hang on. Um, iron and um, iron rest selena and uh, iron cover for julie sleeman yep got it hi julianne naughty um uh floppy yes yeah yeah so that's um they're from um matilda they're matilda's own i've had those before i mean they work but they're so floppy. This one here, and I'll zoom this back out so you guys can see. This one here, if I hold it up, and it doesn't, there's no floppy. Like it's solid as. So see, the grey one is much better. Yeah, so if I hold it like that or like that, it doesn't flop. It's not, it's quite rigid. Uh, mini iron with cover. Um, mini iron with the cover with cover price so the mini in mini iron lower is 65 and the cover is 20. hi karen um on uh two but it works okay but we'll upgrade when the bigger gray one comes in yeah i've got a big one that's going to be 20 by 20 20 inches by 20 inches so about the same size as the other one we had um but it'll be firm like that all right so now we're going to go right to left <laughs> Right to left, right to left, right to left. All right, so again, you can pin, clip or not, it's up to you. I prefer to do something, so I am gonna pin it um, because I know that as soon as I turn it around, um, how much for your gray one that you're using, Michelle, uh, Michelle, Selena, um, <laughs> I've seen you say Michelle the end. Uh, 35 I sell those for and I buy them direct so what iron cover I missed lots oh Debbie it's a little white one that you can cover the the front of the iron so it doesn't end up looking like mine <laughs> um, the little $20 one little white one so if I don't put the pin on the side I'm gonna sew I guarantee you I'll flip it around like this and I'll you know do these ones and then as I pull it out, I'll forget. I'll if I get sidetracked or anything, I've forgotten what side I'm doing. So I make sure that I have that all sorted with a pin, even a clip, even a, even a mark on a with a pencil mark or water mark, you know, water pencil. Up you come. There we go. All right. Again, we're not worrying about um, points or anything. There's none of that yet. We're just going to sew these and I'm taking from underneath. Try again. And I'll try not to get them all mixed up. That is the noise of, of progressive room being done. 
very happy about that. Uh, oh, what cover? Well, I will have one. Show me later when you are busy. I will be here. <laughs> can I have an iron cover too, Jimmy? Yes, you can. I'll write that down. Hang on. <laughs> All right, let me let me write it down. Hang on. Iron cover for Jimmy. No dramas. All right. <laughs> I'll show you what they are. Hang on. Where are they? Come on. Where did I put them? Oh, there it is. So, I'll just show you. A uh, this is a cover. All right, so it goes over the top. So that means that, you know, Jimmy, when you're ironing and that, you know how you burn your fingers? Well, that will will stop you so much, well, fingers crossed, it stops you from doing that because it'll protect, it's got the point and it slips over the handle like that, shows you how to do it and it covers the front. So, um, and they're 20, so mini iron guard to fit the mini steam iron. And it can be, as long as it's that shape and it's a mini one, it's fine. Yeah, they are good and they do, it's a non-stick Teflon guard, it prevents shining, shining. <laughs> And sticking and scorching okay all right that's that okay no, let's get to the next one I'm nearly there takes me forever I'm so slow I'm holding that wrong. Felt weird. Just felt really weird. All right. So now, again, I'm going to press. So I'll spin myself around. I love this. Did I tell you that I love my machine? <laughs> just saying. All right. So just start with number one or the bottom one, whichever, whichever suits. I can hear your seam ripper and how much I can see. You. Oh, yes. So I've, I've got a. Then two, I think, or said three. So um, no battery, but um, yeah, also I think all 30. I can't remember. I've got them on the website. I did put them up there a bit cheaper. They'll have a sticker on it. No battery because they're not going to be, their batteries have to be individually wrapped, I think, safety-wise. So um, it'll be without a battery, but it'll have a little cleaner so you can clean it. Um, and it's, yes. So I do have them in stock, so those that were on back order um, have I've now filled those orders um, at the moment the packaging I'm still waiting for the packaging to come so it'll come without fancy packaging um, but it's probably something you'd only throw away anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah all right turn her over and this is when this is when you're going to see these open seams actually at their best this point this next step the last step all right all right See, I've had my little mini iron for like a hundred years. Hi all, the sound of the ripper just reminded me of shearing it does. It does sound like that, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, so mine, mine's about buggered. Look, look at the electrical cord. <laughs> I'm about ready to wait for it to try and electrocute me and then I'll get rid of it. All right. Yeah, so these mats are 35. They are bloody brilliant. I do love them. Um, and though I do have, oh, I've probably still got about 30 or 40 of them in stock still, so of this size. Um, they do take a long time to come in, so... 
I'm probably going to have to stop thinking about ordering more. I just put a photo of my little iron with the cover on it on the Friends of Jalou so you can see it easy. Oh, that's a good idea, Jenny. Um, will it work on machine embroidery? I'm picking. Hell yeah. <laughs> you got to be careful. Always be careful not to uh, cut your fabric. So you do have to be careful because they are sharp, little darlings. Um, but yes, it will. All right. So you've got four long strips. Four sets of four, okay? There's one, two, three, four blocks. So what we're gonna do is grab those two, put them like that, and work with these two bottom ones. And I'm gonna zoom in. Can you get the cord replaced? Jimmy, I don't know if I trust it to do that. Um, I've had it for so long, it's probably time for retirement anyway. Oh, I've got to go the wrong way. Here we go. There we go. I want you to see exactly what I'm doing and why that open seam works. All right, you just need pins. Clips won't work for this. Um, how big are uh, large wool, like the large wool mat and price? So Debbie, I don't know the price yet. I've got a feeling it might be about the 50, 55, roughly. Um, I will know more when they hit the country and just um, for customs and things like that. Um, uh, the, these ones I've got in stock now are 35. The larger ones are gonna be 20 inch squares. It's 20 inch square. So you've got right sides together. And if you look here, there's a little triangle. Little triangle there. That's the colour bit. Jimmy, you'll be able to feel that. You put your pin in that centre of that little point. Then you got one on the other side and you line it up and you go through that. And give your fabric a little bit of a... Sorry, ladies, I have to go and put my dinner on. No worries, Jenny. Thank you again. You're welcome. Um, and just give it a bit of a wiggle so that that pin... Kerry Lee told me it's a drop pin method. I've not heard that. I have said this before. Um, and then just pin. Make sure that pin, that needle's going, or pin's going up and down at right angles. Then pin either side. Um, and you don't have to do close, close. Now you'll be very happy that I've told you to open up those seams. You can take that out now and that'll ensure that when you sew through that, your needle of your machine is going to hit that point right there, that little triangle. So you'll be able to see where that point of that, um, that triangle meets. And that means that you're going to get a really nice point each time. Move to the next one. You've got your little point there. And don't worry if your edges of your fabric are not even and not running directly, you know, nicely. This one's not going to run nice. So that one can go through now. Just check on the other side. It's all good. Give it a bit of a manipulation. Um, manipulate it a little bit. Give it a bit of a wiggle. The reason why you don't pin that there and then push that, go there, because as soon as you push it, it moves. Um, like it moves the fabric, it moves it up and moves the bottom one down. So it's going to push them out of alignment. So you just pin on either side. Once you've got that hang pin method there, right, don't worry about your seam. You're better off having a little bit of uh, indiscretion in your seam than a point not matching. All right, not that I'm overly anally retentive about points and stuff like that, but some people are. So I thought I'd teach you the way that I was shown and then through that one and then oh, my machine computer decided to slow down and turn off and just give that a little bit of a manipulation so that that pins go straight up and down come on refresh and pin on either side and when I do this, I tend not to worry about pinning the ends, like in here, um, because I'm just going to line up. I'm just going to line it up. I'm going to line up that at the machine, and then when I get to here, and I'm sewing along here, I'm going to line that up and then sew down there. Okay? So I'm going to move, manipulate, move the camera. I undid and undid one of those, but it wouldn't match properly, so I've overlooked it. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to walk away from these things, I tell you. All right, so let me just move that camera up a little. Oops, a daze. 
There we go. All right. Just going to press that. And I'm going to then just put that one there. Very cute. Just going to do a tattoo with a scar. Very so cute. Um, I'll remind you to message Sue there. Okay, yeah, you will have to. Yeah, okay, guys. Uh, so that one there. Sorry, I'm just going to do this next one while you're... You can't see really what I'm doing because it's off camera. So I'm just making sure that the other strip of four are joined. This computer, um, oops, the dose. It's my big fat feet. All right, and with this one, those two white ones, um, you can just see at the top that those seams are going to match. Yeah, so you can see by looking down the top of it, down from the top of the fabric, you can see that it's going to match, and just pop a pin in there. And you can do the same with the next one. Just line them up, eyeball, best you can. Are the half square triangles going to be going? To, uh, oh yes, Selena, we've been doing these for quite a few weeks. The girls have been showing their quilts on um, Friends of Michelle's Patchwork. So if you haven't got yourself on there yet, you need to get yourself on there. Um, they are part of a, a bigger, much bigger um, project. All right, so I've got to take my hang pin out before. Oops, and I haven't threaded my needle yet. That was a bit stupid. Um, yeah, so they're making this great big do um, star shaped quilt. I don't even know the name of it, to be honest. I'm sure it's got a name. It's not my pattern. Um, the border will be different. I, don't, I think basically they, the pattern where I've seen it, they actually stop where we are right now. And I think, was it, was it Stella you were saying that, um, now I'm manipulating this so that I get my needle right on that point, um, that it actually goes like a queen size. So once I get on that point, one more stitch, one more, then I can take that second pin out. <coughs> yeah, we just quilt along, yeah. Um, and you're welcome to go back in the videos, have a look, fast forward, whatever you need to do. Um, they're all on this page, Michelle's um, patchwork page. Um, you'll see them all there. And um, yeah, they're all, it's all free. You can just use, you can pre-cut your own fabric. You can use uh, charm squares. Just so that the girls bought a whole heap of charm squares. And I thought, well, let's do a charm, charm square quilt. You know, it's... I always say it's always one thing for me to sell fabric, but it's, you know, I need to give back. So I give back in the form of um, some free tutorials and stuff like that. All right, so that is that one. Interesting, I'll go see what's going on. Yeah, no worries. Um, the size is queen size top. Yeah, exactly. Plus we've got a border. So that's one done. Now I'm going to turn it around this way and do this one. Second one. And lift and dip, dip. there we go. Come on. So once you get up to that first needle, you can take it as you're getting close. One more into the point. And now I can take the second one out and I'm aiming. Oh, I'm aiming. I'm aiming. And this, if there's a little bit of slack there, you can sort of manipulate it. Take your pin out when you get to it. So there's a bit of slack in this one, which is fine. I'll just manipulate. Manipulation. Love that word. And, there. and then this last one, just line up that border, that edge, I should say. And we're done. 
could you use those four pins to join? Absolutely. Why not? Absolutely. Okay. So, yeah, because you can put it at one either, or either side. As long as you um, don't move that hang pin until you've definitely got um, those fork pins in. So I'm just going to zoom that back out a bit so you can see what's going on. All right, that's those two halves. All right, so let's turn that over and open that up. And like I say, you, just with the fingers, get to the like you only have to go to the start, get to that, and get to that join, then get to the next one. Just sort of get your finger and manipulate it along. Manipulation, bit of persuasive manipulation there, and then to the next one, just push down on it and get to the end and push down on that. Then get your iron and very, very lightly. Just run it along, and I'm not pressing down, I'm just running it along. Oh, that one's going to move. That's all right. Because I'll press properly from the other side. I just want to keep it open when I turn it over. And like I say, this has probably got the neatest seams I've ever had in any quilt I've ever done. Get a load of those points. Look at that baby. Look. <laughs> um, most of my quilts are pointless, <laughs> so I'm very happy that I've got points. Um, because I do the, the brush thing and, you know, I'm like, whatever, just join it. And, and I like doing a lot of art quilts, so I don't have to have points. <laughs> it can be pointless, it doesn't matter. So that gets that one. That's one. And now I'll do the next one. See? Look at those points. Lookies. <laughs> Open her out. I don't know. I did have one of these where I couldn't get these these ones to match. I don't know how that worked, but anyway. The, the easiest thing on the whole quilt, and I couldn't get them to match, so I just left it. It doesn't matter. It's all white anyway. Um, yeah, because those who do know me know that I am not a perfectionist. I am far from it. I'm more into the let's be happy and, you know, rather than be perfect. Perfect for other people, <laughs> not for me. Um, there you go. So again, I've just pushed in those hard to, hard to get to spots to keep them flat. And just a very light iron just across there just to keep it flat while I turn her over. Drop it a bit. And we're going to give that a really nice iron. Alright, there we go. That's better. Didn't really come flat before when I was sewing. Or pressing, I should say. Now it's uh, looking good. Get a load of that. Hey? Okay. Nice points. Very pointless. Very pointy. All right, so then we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to get this one. Flip the top one over so we're right sides together. Again, that white one, we're just going to look at the top, get those two lined up there. Put a pin in one side it doesn't even need the pin on the other this one here again you've got that little triangle you can really see it there on the white use a pin there there and you can see the other one pin through that one look on check on the back make sure you haven't gone skew if have that pin running up and down you sound like me four foot away uh and and no squinting looks perfect. <laughs> I normally say a hundred, you know, like you know, a hundred mile away or fifty mile away, and the back of a horse at a hundred mile an hour, and it looks great. Um, you know, I I always think if someone's looking that bloody close, then they're not really paying attention, so they're, they're uh, worrying about the wrong thing. All right, so this one's going to have a bit of a, a, a seam difference, but yeah, should be all right. As long as I get me little pointy bits right. Um, oh, that's something. On the back of a horse, a hundred mile an hour. Well, I told you all that story of when I was on that one of my first retreats ever, and I told you about that those women that got the shits up because I was having too much fun, 
having a bit of a laugh and then they just they called my point my quilt a pointless quilt because it had no point in it which was true but you know they were all they were being mean because they, they were cranky with me so um, close enough is good enough i reckon too heather oh. all right so just line up those two edges and lift and press and lift and press and sew and lift and press and sew and oh sorry we're going to sew up to that little point there that little little point there i can get right up to there you can use your pin to hold it down and once you've got your needle in that little point you can take out the second one your pin i should say and off we go da -da 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 -da. Whoop. now lift oh they are called the quilt oh yeah yeah, so <laughs> I made sure I got louder and more and more annoying because I finished my quilt, even though it was pointless. Some people just don't like it. Yeah, I know. Oh, I couldn't care less. Like, this was going back. Um, I just thought it was really funny. And I thought, well, if you're going to be that bloody super sensitive because I'm enjoying myself, I couldn't possibly be doing it right because I'm enjoying myself. Um, yeah, I, that's what they were saying. And they were saying it loud enough that I could hear like they were, <laughs> they were being purposely nasty. So, and Mum and I just went, meh, yeah, hackles. We put our hackles up and we just went and laughed louder. All right. Lift up, lift up. So, that's my theory. My quilting group want me to get it to perfection. Jimmy, you need to change quilting group groups. I also like how you open your seams. The quilt police don't like that either. I have also been berated at the, by the quilt police for sewing too slow. Oh, Selena, you need a new quilt group too. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with these people? It's supposed to be enjoyable. We're supposed to be enjoying it. You're supposed to be having fun. It's not supposed to be something that you think, oh, you know, and you shudder and you think, oh, what if they look at this and they look at that? That's exactly right, Selena. Uh, yeah. Jimmy, they need to get a life, seriously. Man, they're asking you to quilt more perfectly, but you're the one I tell them close enough is good enough. Absolutely, Jimmy. Stay with us, Jim. Yeah, we don't mind. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And they what, what, what beggar's belief is that they've got the balls to say that to you. I, I just think that's bloody rude. Yeah, exactly right, Stella. It's all about getting and having fun, enjoying each other's company, having a bit of a laugh. Oh, so, I've done that one. Did this one a quick one so far. You know, I do, don't see very often anymore talking about people who are good to have a laugh with. Righto, I'm, and I'm hoping she's okay because I know that she lost her birdie and that was sad. That was very sad, or they stole it. I haven't seen her for ages. On, on one of the shows, I've been told to sew, I sew too fast. Eh. Do you know what? There is no true anything. Um, only, I say that tongue in cheek because with free motion quilting, sometimes you can just sew too slow for how fast your hands are moving. That's a different thing. Um, and I have had to tell people to slow down or, or speed up, but only because to get the stitch right for free motion quilting. Um, yeah. <laughs> Selena, uh, the Amish women deliberately put a mistake in there, Cotsville. Mine are very Amish. <laughs> That's all I can say. There we go. She's done, baby. So we need another one of these blocks, and that becomes our, our thing there. So what I'm going to do is, um, you've seen, you've seen uh, some of the girls. I'll show you mine so far. Obviously, it's not finished because I'm the slow, slow one in the group. So... I'll just show it here, what you can see. Hang on, let me just... Oh, here we go. Ready? Steady? So I've got one side on. Where are you? That's... Oh, yeah, the big side's down the bottom. So there you go. That's the big side down the bottom. That's We're doing another one of those. So that's it there. That's the colours. See how I'm not really caring where the colours land? Um... I don't need to do a delivery yet. <laughs> you know what, Jimmy? I tell ya. I, I would, I, I have purposely, 
purposely annoyed the absolute living daylights. I cannot see you in your group where the quilt along is. Just point me to it. Oh, Selena, um, just go. Oh, it won't be in the group. It'll be on my page. So go to the videos on my um, on this page. So go to videos and you'll see it. It'll say um, tri the triangle one. So oh, half square triangles. So I'm not finished either. I have two sides done. I have two slice stones that you're doing now and I've caught up with you. <laughs> You've probably got a little bit more time than me, maybe. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, sorry. It's something we're doing. We're showing him in the group, but it's on this page. My, my bad. That was my bad. Um, yeah, so you'll see there's like a whole heap of them. Yeah, in the videos, video section, all, yeah, you'll find them. Um... Now, oh, let me show you this. So it's a freebie pattern. So it's called a mini duffel bag tutorial. And it is by Charmed by Ashley. Um, so we're going to do that one. I think it's quite cute. There's a free pattern. Um, show me your star again. I missed it. Oh, okay. Hang on. Um, well, it's without one border. But yeah, it's almost there. So hold it that way. Then you can see the... Yeah, so um, once we do this part, we get that second border on, then I'm going to do an outer border with the leftovers. Just saying. All right, so this duffel bag, I thought they don't do it in, um, in they do it with plain fabric, but I thought we could use our um, jelly rolls because we've got so bloody many of them. So this is the duffel bag. Um, there it is there. See, there. So, um, I, I will, I want to make the actual bag itself though, out of jelly rolls. So, um, oh good, you have, a, yeah, you can use any, anything. It doesn't have to be, um, batik. It can be anything. I just like using batik because it doesn't fray. <laughs> it's really, really good. Um, and, uh, the colors are fantastic. I love them. So, Charmed by Ashley, um, and I will organise, uh, there is a YouTube thingy, but um, I thought we could do it here. So, but it's just a, a mini duffel bag. She does do um, some things a little bit different than what I do, but we'll go through it and uh, I think we'll just, we'll just, um, uh, yeah, um, sort of do it together. I thought it'd be a nice one. We can actually make the bag out of strips. I thought so anyway, that was my idea. So, um, yeah, so what do you reckon about that? I think we could do that. I thought we could also put, she's got one pocket in there, but I thought we could put more in. Mm -mm -mm. So that'll be that. Um, I printed out three accidentally. Oh, ah, now I have to show you. I got in, oh, I got in these two fabrics. Where in the heck have I put that other thing? I've buried it. Look out. Oh, God. The heck have I done? <laughs> oh, here it is. Found it. Everyone can stop looking now. Found it. Lovely foot. Well, thank you. Um, all right. So, oh, that's the grey. I just got one, two, three, 40 metres of it. Sounds like a plan. plan. So that's it there. Isn't that beautiful? So I got lots of that one. $10 a metre. Then I also got this purple one. Let me show you. There's another grey one there too. That's nice. Where is the purple? It's not purple, it's more of a lavender. Eh. Where is it? No. Come on. So, what was I saying about the lavender? <laughs> I can't find a sample piece. Where is it? I can't see it. I can't see it. Huh, there's no sample piece there. Go figure. Alrighty, try here. Mm -mm. That's it there, and I've got about 40 meters of that as well at $10 a meter, and that's the same as that black you got. So, same sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so I've got lots of this in. It's they're going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get these colors. Look at that apricot. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, really nice solid colors. There's a nice lighter gray. Light gray. And then they've got a light blue. Pretty. Do you have any of the royal blue still? <gasps> Ooh. 
No. Uh, <clears throat> no, I don't think so. It's gone. Um, that I can get in. There's navy. Oh, hang on. I've got more down here. Oh, there's another pink. Oh, there's a nice burgundy. Uh, and I want to get this purple in. Hang on. What sort of fabric is it great? It's a it's the it's the same fabric as the black I had, the slight Kona fabric. Royal purple Stella. <coughs> Gonna get that in soon. Um purple, royal purple, no. No, I definitely don't have that. That's definitely gone. Um so they have oh it's another blue, it's like a baby egg blue, and they have like an ivory or a white ivory. And they have that lamb green, and we got the black, which is nice. And then we got a little bit of a darker blue, nice. Cream. Then they got a red, and then they got lello, lello. And then there's another creamy one, and there's lemon. Never mind, change the plant. <laughs> so I'm gonna order in. The other one, that royal purple, this this one, but it won't be the same. It won't be the same as what you got. And then they've got oh the navy, and then I've got the camely colour, and then there's that light grey. Then there's that blue again, and then the um, hang on, the green. I love your curtains behind you. Are they roses? Rose? They're, they're both roses and peonies. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone says that. That's actually just, yeah, the curtain I made to cover up all my crap that I've done there. 11 and, uh, and a four and a half. Yeah, Marlene, no worries. Um, and then they've got that lovely apricot and a really nice candy pink. So I'll be getting those in. Um, bit by bit. Two metres of lavender and a four and a half inch ruler. Did the black come in yet? Uh, no, still waiting. I think I got yours cut, Tracy. Teresa, two meters of lavender. Yes, I've definitely got the lavender and I've got the grey, that darker grey. Really nice. Um, let me write them down because I will forget. <sighs> Brain like a sieve. There's the grey. Got that one. That one's in. Uh, no, da -da, Teresa, I'm going to use this thing over here. It's called a mouse. Um, did the black come in? Um, da -da. Uh, see, it hid your comment of Stella, that damn. Da -da -da -da. All right, what sort of fabric is it? Grey, Helen Cassidy, Vance is that one. Da -da -da. Selena, the curtains behind it. Uh, Marlene, Fracas, so. Fracas. So. Hi, Pat. Uh, thank you, Stella. So, Lavender. I'm going to go Teresa by two. Yep, Selena, four and a half inch ruler, square, a square ruler that I used to square them up. Um, got that, da, 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 da. got that, thank you, uh, Marlene, um, M-A-R-L-E-N-E, -E. if I don't have your details, Marlene, I'm not too sure if I do, by two, just um, quickly send me a PM if you haven't already. Um, and the four and a half inch ruler, Marlene. Um, I've probably already bastardized your surname and I apologize ahead of time because I'm crap at names. So, um, why is it hiding? I don't know. It did it to you the other day. I couldn't even see your comments. Um, one meter of each of gray and lavender. Yep. Sure. Debbie. Let me go check if I have that size. Yeah, yeah, I can see you. But it, the other day, you must have been in the naughty corner because it really didn't like it. <laughs> um, so you've been a good girl, I know. What were those for holding up? Come on, <laughs> I came on. So they're just some color samples that I were given for the fabric that I'm now getting in straight from supplier, Deb Turnbull. Um, Turnbull by one and Deb. So just letting you know what will be coming in. And yeah, I know you've been a good girl. Um, I can see. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> says Jimmy, who can't see at all. 
Uh, you can hear her. Is that right, Jimmy? <laughs> so what are you trying to say? So that's a lavender. All right. Oh, and oh, that was a chair, not me. I promise. And then the grey is that one. So it's a really nice. Can I get a darker purple than the dark one you have there? Yeah, I've, I'm going to order it in. Are you in a hurry? Because in a hurry. Can you get a darker purple than the one you have there? Yeah. So the one that I would be getting in would be this one. That one. So it's like a it's like a royal purple. Yep, good, because they do take a little while. But yeah, I can order that in because I'm gonna order about two to three colours at a time because it costs a bloody I like this apricot. Briny, these are all ten dollars a meter. The, the, the two that I've got here, this the grey the gray and that um, lavender is what I've got here. Um, cancel the four and a half inch ruler. I have one. <laughs> no worries, Selena. I'll do that. Um, yeah, no, I hadn't written it down until you confirmed, so it's all good. Um, can you get a darker one than that? I have a really rich dark one I got from you before. Might have a look. It might be a Vic Textile one, so I'll have a look. Vic Text. Um dark purple how much the red charm squares coming uh how's yes they are coming sorry i know i'm a bit lazy aren't i um and you want four of those don't you four lots are the fabrics like kona blenders yes yeah yeah but um solid solid color so they are what well, you can really see that there you go beautiful fabric I know. Did you see you were four? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, you saw. You all saw the um, the jelly roll ones, didn't you? The um, wouldn't that look nice in the bag, Bryony? Yeah, the. Uh, Um, you saw those coloured ones, didn't you? They, they were really amazing. Have you got the D-rings for the bags? Teresa, I've ordered some more. I ran out. So I sort of sent in what I have. As soon as they come in, I'll be chucking them in, in the post to you guys with your next orders. So not everyone's got their stuff yet. So we're still waiting. Um, so I, I'm not organising that, that little group thing yet until everyone's got their orders. There's still some sitting here and... Yeah, and then we'll have another discussion about it all and just make sure everyone's got everything and uh, before we start, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I've got some, uh, yeah, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. So it's Christmas, I know. <laughs> Two metres of pink, purple and grey. Uh, Selena, don't have the pink yet. The purple, which is that dark one, is on all, like, I've got to order it. But the grey I can give you now. Um, so if you want to hang off on the others until they come, I'm happy to do the grey. Don't want to take it grey, the other two if I haven't got them here. Because it could take a month to get them here. Sometimes. Can I please have two by Rainbow and one by Black Jelly Roll? Oh, I know, Jude. Aren't they amazing? Did you all see those jelly rolls? Who missed out on seeing those rainbow jelly rolls? Um, Selena. My two. And, uh, yes, it's okay. Whenever it's okay, they can come together. Um, oh yeah, it could be a while. Um, Jude, can I have two rainbows? So rainbow by two for Jude. Uh, I miss them. Oh my gosh. Um, don't rush it. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> my message about the ruler for mesh work. <gasps> Lower. Mm, no, I've got one here. Lower. Uh, ultimate. Ruler. Yep. Um, I miss them. Okay, did you have any of the rubber iron rest mats available? Yes, I do, Heather. I missed out on seeing them. Um, okay, no rush. I'm going to stash. It's okay. So, da, 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 da. And oh, hang on, I've just got to do and one black jelly roll for Jude. All right, I'll show you. I'll get these. I'll show you. Oh, oh. <laughs>
All right. I'm just going to unplug my, my um, what's the name? Oh, dear. Okay, so um, just a message about the ruler. Yep, do you have the rubber things? Yep, I do. Can I have one? Oh, can I have one? Heather Cashman. Yes, they are called. Oh, that fell out, didn't it? That didn't help. Um, they called Iron Rest and Heather Cashman. Yep. Um, I had to go uh, the other night, but I would love the rainbow and two black. Yeah, sure, Eliza. So rainbow, I might make another page for that. Hang on. Rainbow. Oh no, I can put it here. Rainbow. Um. Hang on, hang on, Eliza. Okay. By one and. And two black, yep. And two rainbow and one black jelly roll plus a magic bob and jenny top loading. How much is the cover of the small iron? Teresa, they're 20. Iron rest for me too, Stella. Good God, woman. And Stella. Um, got that one. Hang on, just need to do the lucky thing on that one. So Deb Turnbull would like two rainbow. Uh, Deb. Turnbull by two and one black, yep, and Bob and Genies, Genies, top loading for Deb Turnbull. Um, the covers. Teresa, how much is the cover? I answered that, yep. Um, the curved ruler you have sent is bigger than the one on the pattern we have, we got, will it's, it will, we got, will it still as well? It, it will work as well. Yeah, it will work. We're just going to adjust it um, on the patterns, I think. It's just a different shape corner. Outdoor, we see rainbow, jelly roll. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting there. Um, you do a great job keeping up with those for caramel collector. Sometimes, sometimes not. <laughs> I already ordered the uh, first day uh, that Anne was with you. Just checking us. Oh, okay. I'll double check that. Um, to do, to do, ultra room it and check. Yep. Double check it. Um, that's another scissor holder added, please. Heather Cashman. Yep. Scissor holder. The Cashman. Um, can I have the cover? Yes. Um, Teresa, iron cover. Teresa. Yep. Um, what's mesh work and what's the rainbow? Selena. Oh, Selena, what's mesh work and outdoor we see the rainbow jelly roll? Okay. Rainbow jelly roll. $35. Oh my God, I know, it's all solid, solid colors. I know, I know, ta -da. Black Jelly Roll, ba -ba 35 bucks, oh, lost me bow. Um, same supplier as Kona, supplies Kona, I'm just saying, um, 35. So I have still quite a few um so happy with that yeah i know i know i reckon i'm going to use one of those in that bag i reckon that would be amaze balls um so i'll show you the mesh work ready hang on okay so now how many how many of the jelly rolls will it take for a duffel bag oh gosh you wouldn't even need a whole one. Yeah. Selena, you want the, the rainbow one? Rainbow, Selena. Easy. Uh, Stella. Rainbow, yep, got it. Two rainbow, Terry Lynch. Terry Lynch. Ba two, ba one for Stella. Uh, one rainbow, Denise. I thought you guys saw this before. Castles. I must be imagining. Oh, one. 
Yep, okay. So, yep, and that one and that. How many of the will take for? Yeah, easy. Uh, I've got that. And da, da, da. All right, ready? Meshwork. Okay, I'm going to need a new page. Okay, so we're going to create a, a group page. Yes, please. What would we use a black jelly roll for? Okay, so some people would want, say, if you've got, say, the colour, and then you want to put between these, you don't want all the colours like right together so you might do say some strips pieces and have three or four strips and then cross cut them and then you want black two inch borders two and a half inch borders in between they're perfect for binding two and a half inches what is a curved ruler curved ruler is i don't have any more at the moment um because they're out of stock and i've run out so i can't tell you what that's one for doing um corners like curving off corners it's like a ruler um yes yeah, so that's that now it would uh yes we did but only ordered <laughs> okay that's all right um yes they're perfect yes okay so that's weaving i know and did a demo with me the other week um how cool is that? No, there's no sewing those little squares. It's all weaving. Okay, Loa, can I have a black jelly roll and a rainbow? Hang on. Uh, uh, for Lona. Why are they not coming up? Um, rainbow. So we want Lona. I one and black by one and ah uh, no it's in this page as well so it's um in the in the videos yeah and six skizzer holders aren't they great um Black Jelly Roll and Rainbow, please, for Christine Philp. So, Christine, hang on, P-H-I-L-P, -P, by one and one black. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so they came up and delivered. And I said to her, well, now you have to do a demo for me. <laughs> and this is another one. How cool are they? And another one. So she left her samples here. So um, Anne was on the 3rd of August. Thank you, Teresa. That's a good way to keep track of them because there's so many in there. And look at them, tumbling blocks. And there's a pattern each of those. And um, they are $7.50 a pattern for those to make those blocks. And then you can put them into quilts if you'd like. Or you can put them into bags, whatever you want to do. But we also, we're gonna, we're gonna create this bag. So that's the bag pattern. That's the bag, I should say. And it has a little doodah. So I had some of these hanging around. So I've got those. Um, and some of these things, I've got some more coming. So I just threw them in. Um, but that's the bag pattern is $12.50. Um, then you will need the tools to do it. And they're about $110 um, to make the... Look, you've got them forever. Hang on. So... So that's that. I'm going to go back and have a little video. Yeah, so you've got, you get one each of these tools and that's how you, we make the bias, um, the binding. Sorry, the straight binding. Um, what do they call it? Not binding. Um, yeah, the strips. So, um, but we put adhesive on them. The adhesive is in there. Oh, bodkin fell out. There, yeah, the bodkin is, the bodkins are there as well. Um, so everything to do, what you're going to do is there. Plus, then you got your twelve fifty for your pattern. So that's that. Plus, we're going to do a group. We're going to do a sew along uh, in the group. All right. And those who have bought these will be able to go into the group and do that. Um, bias and straight. Thank you, Stella. Thank you. So that's that one. Um, and we're also going to do those blocks because I think that would be fun as well. The other thing that um, she does have is these purses, and she has patterns for these, and they come with the hardware. 
and the hardware with that and the pattern the hardware in the pattern is 1850 and there's this color the silver and there's also a bronze as well so they're there but how cute is that and you could I mean you don't have to do it just this pattern you could do any pattern it's just got to be made to that size really you can use any pattern so yeah so that's those oh I know um, so I have them all here what I don't have here I can get them to get bring in as well oh, back to look at the video I keep going back to look at the videos they're good fun aren't they the videos and um, then I had George come in and he did the ones with the crystals bag pattern kit bag pattern kit please and the quilt block patterns please yes Selena sure so you want the tool kit yep um, so I'm just gonna write Selena so bag pattern tools and bits because I throw the little bits in um, and the blocks yep block patterns yeah, so the block patterns are only seven fifty, so they're pretty good too, uh, good value. Um, yeah, so anyway, we did the beads. Well, I started playing with beads. I haven't bought it in here, but I will show you when I've done a little bit more. Yes, I've been going to purchase the bias tape makers anyway. Uh, oh, okay, yes. So, um, yeah, so you've got the these ones. They're a little bit, uh, bit different to the the other ones that you use, um, Pauline's. But you don't. You could try and use both. Do you have a light green by the meter? I have like a mint green or like a, no, like a, a Kermie green, like a green green. I have a lighter green, Christine, in a batik by the meter as well. Does it have to be a solid or do you want to? Um, and the other two, one was called woven, can't remember the other. <laughs> what was that? Um... Bag pattern, can you do that? Yes, I can do that. And the other two, one was called woven. Can't, oh, uh, yes, that's right, Tracy. Yes, hang on. There's, um, yep, yeah, I've got them here. The table runners. There's two table runners, and she showed those. Um, so that's one there. I'll just hold it that way. Are they different sizes? The, the bias makers, yes, they're all different sizes. You get one of each size. And that's the other one. So the pattern, those those two, these two here are the same pattern. It just shows you the difference between using two fabrics that are very much alike. Yeah, and then those are different. See how different it makes? Similar, something similar like the sample. If so, two meters. Something similar like the sample. Oh, a solid color. Mm, I'll show you what I've got there. It's a light green. Hang on, I'll show you. But it's it's more it's more of a Kermie green, love. Yeah, for making the fusible ones. Yeah, um, that's that. And other than that, I don't have a lighter green unless. You go for that of oh, the mesh work oh yes yeah. so she likes to yeah so Christine she likes to use batik yes this one is lighter this is like a real minty green um, she likes to use this the batik because it doesn't fray like the other stuff so um, that's why Anne uses a lot of, yeah, yeah. I'm back. Did I, did you show the grey and the mauve solids yet? Yes, I did. So, yeah, two metres, Christine. I'll write that down. LP, by two metres. Green fatigue. Yep, easy. Um, so the grey is this one. That's the grey, Jenny. And the lavender is this one. That's it there. 
All right, and I've got heaps of it, heaps and heaps. I only ten bucks a meter. Um, I think I've answered everyone's question. Have I missed anyone? Did you see Cheryl's uh, Harwood's message? No. Where is that? Hang on, Cheryl Harwood. Where are you, darling? Are they different sizes? Tracy Fisher, Selena. Where, where on earth is that? No. Oh yeah, rainbow and black jelly. Oh, thank you. No, I did not. Thank you for that. So Cheryl Harwood. Uh, Cheryl Harwood. Not sure if I have your details, Cheryl. Just send me a quick PM with your um, uh, your email and your postal address. That'd be super awesome. Uh, by uh, Rainbow and Black. Buy one each, yep, and a blade sharpener, please, and a roll of the sticky stuff on the bench behind you. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh dear, for Cheryl Harwood. Oh dear, um, one buy for a Cheryl Harwood. And Ju, and was on the third, yep, all right. Um, Roll the sticky stuff. <laughs> sticky stuff. Um, are you talking about? What are you talking about? The sticky stuff behind me. What one? <laughs> Cheryl, what one? Sticky stuff. These are. You're not talking about these, are you? These are. These are. Um. um yep. You. You have, but haven't been for a while. I thought. I thought so. It sounded familiar. Um. They're the. They're the bob and keepers. Um. I've got new, five new comments. They are lovely. Two meters each, please. Jenny Gregory, yes. They're, um, okay, so those two look. Yeah, they're very similar, but they're they're um. What's the name? Um, mesh work. Yeah, no, you know, lots of little seams. No seams. Very little amount of sewing. Those table runners. Uh, did you see that? Uh, did you get? Can I get the bag pattern only? Yes. Plus the adhesive rolls and the quilt pattern blocks please yes so let me change page no I can go up here so Deb Turnbull one by bag pattern um, and one each rolls of yeah. yep I know what you mean tape and by there's five of those um, block patterns block patterns block patterns yes done um, and the quilt pattern blocks yep da -da -da. yep <laughs> another two meters Jenny Gregory so lavender Jenny Gregory Bachu and gray Jenny I like the gray a bit of a grey person. <laughs> Five two. Yep. Yep. Even though they haven't been for a while. Yep. Um, oh, the mesh braid adhesive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fusible. Yep. 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 So that is. Do, do, do. Where is it? Oh. oh, you're talking about these. These are not adhesive. They're different. Where are they? Oh, here we go. I've only got a few, oh, hang on, I have a few left in this brand, which are from, um, uh, I don't know, they are from, one of the bright packets in the cream mesh baskets behind you, oh yes, Bargel, I did my head in, yes it would. Uh, when you have time, can you confirm what I have ordered, please? Lower. Yep, I can. Okay, so I have, um, so the tape, I've got the 5 and the 10 mil, so I have both of those. I think I've got two orders. Um, I do have another brand, but it's a little bit different. <clears throat> Just one each of the tapes. Where's that other one? Make sure I've written it down somewhere I can see it. So what have we got here? Rainbow, rainbow, uh -huh. Robin. Okay, so Cheryl Harwood. One each vice tapes. Adhesive, yep. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so just use that. All right, there that. Okay, I think I've got everyone now. Have I missed anyone? Is everyone everyone good? Um, peels for putting. Oh yes, these. These are the peels that you put around your thread. Where's mine? Oh, I've hidden it. Okay, so basically, hang on, let me see if I can find them. These ones here, you have still got the pegs that hold the bobbin on your thread, please. Have you? Yeah, yep, yeah, I have, yep. Yeah. So they're the peels, they go around your thread like that. So you know how your thread comes off and it drives you nutty? So you pop the peel over. You sound like the penguin then from Batman. Um, you pop the peel over and see how the thread's sitting up like that? And you can, I have done this, whether it'll work right for me now, I don't know. And I just keep winding until that thread, see how all of a sudden it starts getting really short and then it's under. Like that. <sighs> um, you still got those? Yes, I do. Yes. So that's the peels. They're ten bucks for twelve. So I have those as well. Heaps of. Have two packs. Um, peels for putting thing. Selena, yes, I have some of those. Yes. So the peels. Yeah. Peels. Who else wanted the peels? So that's Selena. By one, yeah. <laughs> um, Jude, I nearly wrote Jenny there. Jude by two, yeah. So they come like that, or mixed colours, and you can put them around the big ones. You can put them around bobbins as well. Um, Cheryl will have two. Yep. Um, and these ones here, I'll show you this stuff tomorrow night um too too much on the yeah two with the pegs yet yeah. so that's these and they're 750 for a pack of i think it's 20. yeah doesn't say i think it's pretty much 20. i think off the top of my head um no i have some don't need them oh selena you don't need them oh okay <laughs> no worries um the peels work great thank you yes they are yep 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 um so the bobbin Bobbin Buddies. Oh, I can't spell now. Buddies. Um, two by two. Um, can I have two packs, please? Oh, the pegs. Okay, so not the, not the, you don't want these, Jude. It wasn't these. You're wanting these. Two of those. Can't wait. Um, can you please add the wool mat and the extra large? Yeah, I've got that in the background. I uh, have to roll it to the material. Sure, Jenny. Yep, absolutely. XL Stripology. G. Jenny. Gregory. And I missed the other bit there. Both. Oh, you want both. Okay. G. I two. Write it back in. Um, and the wall map. Yep. Sorry about the veining. <laughs> you don't stop them while they're busy doing that. So, um, yeah, so these other ones here in the background that you can see, I will show tomorrow night because they are really, really good pricing um, and you'll love them. They're really good. Um, I was just letting Selena know what was behind the shelf. Okay, no worries. Um, what else is there? Uh, that's about it, really. I have to show you. Um, that's probably enough for one day. Um, yeah. Oh, I've got the bias ruler. Can I grab, can I get an iron mat too, please? Yeah, Janine. Yep. More mat. Janine. Um, this is to go with the, the bias ultimate ruler. This is the one that, that Anne uses and it's from, that they've, they've created this ruler. Um, it has the strip cutting in there just for the one 
it's got the angles of 30, 45 and 60 and at both ends. And it also has all those tiny little marks when you need one sixteenth of sweet nothing. Um, and it's got all those in there as well. So, and that's the one she uses to cut her um, bias or straights or whatever. And um, yeah, it goes five inches across this way and 15 inches from there to there. So that um, was 45 and they're 40 just for us. She said, I can do that. Um, yeah, so that's another one too that might go help with the the um, the weaving. Uh, and the other thing is that that light. That's the only other thing I'll show you. And that light. Hear me, hear me. Look, look, look. All right. See this? That back in there. It's a bit hard when it's got to go around corners. I'll turn that off. Look. Now turn it on. And off. And off. And off. And off. 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 Um. So it's a little sticky adhesive thing, LED one, and I've just plugged it into the USB. Turn it on and off and on, 20 bucks. Oh, I know. It's about half a metre long, and then it's got a metre and a half lead. And that's in there, 20 bucks. And you can cut them shorter, doesn't hurt them. Um, and you just need a plug. So either your machine or a, a plug, like an electrical plug, and they work really well. So that I've actually got on the long arm as well, and I've got it on this one, and I'm gonna put one on my other, my Nomi, because that's also got a USB, so I'm gonna do that as well. Um, but yeah, happiness, happiness. Um, but yeah, all right. When do we start the weaving? Oh, Jenny, yes, I was just saying that before to the girls. So. I've got it. There's still people still waiting for some products to come. Um, so as soon as everyone has their products, um, it'll be still a few weeks. So we've got to wait till everyone's got their products, um, so that everyone can start at the same time, and um, no one's sort of missing out or feeling like they're left out. And then we'll start it. So I'm not going to. No major rush, but just sit it aside. Um, yes, I've got Janine's. Thank you, Stella. I could really use that light. I could, I could really use a light, please, Sean sure, Norrell. Um, light, um, Norrell, yep. Uh, C H I S N S N. Um, yeah, so as soon as everyone's got it and we're all at the same level, I'll, I'll do a bit of a, you know, we're going to start this, let's do it now, or let's, you know, book a date and I'll get the, the group going and then I'll start adding everyone into that group. If you haven't added me as a friend personally, don't know if I can add you into the group, but I will share the group and make it available to only us. Yep, we're using material. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the light on my singer is dreadful, low, so I cannot wait for my streamer to arrive. What project are we waiting until everyone has the items for? Da -da -da. Selena, this one. Uh, this one and the blocks. So, yeah, and then I'll start that page. Get it going. All right. So, thank you everyone for joining me. I'm absolutely knackered. I've been going for two and a half hours. <laughs> See, I can talk a lot. <laughs> what do I say? <laughs> what else can I say? All right. So, thank you again for doing Can I confirm there are two lights for mum and one and I, please? Eliza K, I will confirm lights. I'm pretty sure. Eliza by two check pretty sure okay great I ordered that all oh, thanks yep uh, pick a price on the braid set play what is the price on the braid set please Cheryl are you talking about the one for the bag uh, like me you can talk underwater with me. <laughs> yeah. um, the bag is the pattern for this is 1250 the tools for it are, and you get everything in it to make that plus more of course um, 110 um, you can just buy this the pattern as such and uh, you've got your own tools at home you can do that um, and these the blocks the patterns for these blocks <laughs> I've always been able to do that um, these blocks here selling night tomorrow night yes it is these are seven fifty uh, a pattern for those, and twelve fifty for the. Uh, can't even do it. There we go. The uh, two table runners. Okay. Um, 
Oh, and then I've got this one here. For this one here is 1850 and it, in, it includes the hardware. Okay, so it makes it easy for me because I'm a bit silly. But that's the braid one. Uh, even school reporters are there. Stella is a chatterbox here. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mum could hear, uh, I think it was my first day of school, a kindy or something, and a woman or grade one or something, and a woman screaming. Mum could hear it from outside. You know, Michelle Smith, <laughs> will you be quiet? <laughs> Because she could hear it outside and she just sort of went, oh God. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, it still applies. Purple pa um, pur purse pattern, please. Silver clasp, yeah. Sure. Um, do, 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 do. Silver. Purse pattern. Selena. No worries. Um, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I think that's why we all get along, because we all chat away. Chickens. Alrighty, that's it. I'm done. I'm out of here, girls. I'm going to go and sit in my room and have a coffee. <laughs> so I'll go and see the old boy first to see what he's doing in there. Breakfast time there. Adele, yeah, it would be. It would be. So we'll see you tomorrow night, sale night. I have fabric. I have stuff. Um, and we'll be showing all that. So you'll get to see it all. I'll see you then, 730 be here or be square. See you then. How much for the strip rulers? Uh, Heather, which one? No, you're welcome, Stella. You're talking about the one for um, Heather? You're talking about the uh, stripology ones or you're talking about the ultimate ruler from um, Anne, um, the weaving one? <laughs> See you, Selena. Um, just gonna wait for Heather to reply. Catch you tomorrow night. Thank you, Pat. The medium one, 85. The medium one is 85. Um, yeah, stri uh, stripology one is 85. The medium. The large one is 115, I think. Top of my head. No worries, Jimmy. Thank you, Pat. Uh, goodbye, Debbie. See you, everyone. Thank you again. Love to you all. See you soon. Bye.